Now, read your crack in your ass. Hey, what's up with your face? What face? It's not a bloody funny shade nowadays. I caught the sun. It's bloody clever, this weather. You got sent out? Where? My credit scraps! Credit scraps! Get off me, I'll do it! And you can tell that bloody union. If they're trying to you, shop steward, they can give over keeping you out till all hours of the night, right? Quarter past bloody twelve, last time, wasn't it? Well, it's a good call, isn't it? No wonder. This is where you'll be based. It's all quite compact. We don't go in for palatial settings. You'll find all you need right at your fingertips. And this is my secretary, I take it? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we didn't envisage taking on anyone extra. This young lady deals with all management business. I see. Yeah. Bella Grout, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm sure we'll find we have a lot in common. No, I think you and I should have a nice cup of tea together and you can put me in the picture about how you've been used to running things round here. His nib's not here, then. Oh, uh, I think he had something to attend to. Mm, he's a sight to attend to. An attendee bloody willy for the scrap of house left. I'll sweat bloody guts over this Korean tie-up. I'll not have it jeopardised at this late stage. I want this firm running like clockwork from top to bottom. Now we've tickled round the bottom. Let's get them brooms moving up top. Well, I think I'll work from here, for the time being. Fifteen minutes. I'm sorry. Every minute late. Doc's fifteen minutes pay. But I was here. All right, all right. Nick. Smithers. Beechcroft said she's to have one of yours for the time being. By all means, Norma. She can have the old bloody shop floor as far as I'm concerned. Hey, what's up with him? I think it's the report. What report? 
That fellow we had in testing teacups and that for the Koreans. I don't think he was very nice about the management. So, Beechcroft's had Mrs. Grant brought in to sharpen things up a bit. That woman's doing me head in. She got us counting those PCBs. <laughs> How long's she stopping? I think it's envisaged she's a permanent feature. Say your name. No, what do we need these for? I know who I am. <laughs> what will they lash us with next? Shows of leashing us to the bench and slashing wages to cover the cost of sitting there. They'll be charging us rent next. May love, just come up on the pools. I'm about to become a free agent. Oh, so you're going for your divorce then? Line them up, girls. Bring out the spare fellas. Hey, and another nose in your catalogue. I'll be needing a few new outfits soon. Well, you've not took your ring off then. I don't. I'm telling you, there's no way I'm queuing around the block for bigger nastiness. I want something a little bit stronger. All oh, right, there's a freaking tea leaf round here. No, what? You can't hang on to your own piss now. Oh, and two straps of candy. Yes, in here. It's all right. We're just on their way back to work. Well, don't just stand there like a lump of cold pudding. Well, what's the problem? This isn't usually in my territory. <laughs> I think I'm the person to decide that. Well, let's get started. There's the door. We want two new locks. And you can leave the key with me. You ladies seem very keen to get some more wages docked. And that's another thing down on this report. Theft of toilet rolls from ladies. From now on, we'll be issuing one roll per toilet per week. And after that, they can make their own arrangements. Have you seen this report, then? You don't think he'd let me get my hands on it, do you? Well, what's he say? That our Korean partners feel that our middle management is overstretched, and that we're sending somebody in to help us out. Well, then... Help us out of a job, more like it. Seven years, bloody Siberia, down the drain. It needn't be. Look, I know how he operates, I know how he works. He wants maximum results for minimum outlay. And anybody barring himself is totally dispensable. I've had it. I've had it up to here. I get home, Stella's mouthing off at me. I'm never in, I never see the kids. You won't make up your mind. I book us a weekend away and what do you do? You're still dishing out the same excuses. Like her husband. Oh, well, it's a little bit late for feeling guilty now, love. I couldn't agree more. Seems we've all got our work cut out then, doesn't it? Carol. Look. Don't go. We're in time tea breaks. What about tonight? 
I'll let you know. be a sight for sore eyes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if you're that short of something to manhandle, a few items of furniture want shifting in there. And I don't know what you're used to, but where I come from, they call that sexual harassment. Mind you, I can see some cases where it's less an imposition than a charity. Well, I wouldn't advise you to stand still too long. You might find she's buried here. Oh, thank you, Mum. Thank you. These are as good as you'll get anywhere. I think not, actually. Ten minutes tea break. That's two minutes from shop floor to canteen and two minutes back again. I find six minutes is plenty of time to knock back a cup of tea. Aye, but... When you've been used to something. Bernie, if it was left to me, they'd still be on their 15 minutes, no problem. But we're out to impress here. We're here to outdo our Oriental pals. They would have to come down hard on Dawdlers and Sky for that. Mine electronics. Oh, Mr. Beechcroft. Yes? It's for you, Mrs. Grant. Mr. Beechcroft. Yes, I think we've made some progress. Well, we've had our work cut out, of course, but uh, I think there's the right attitude on everyone's part. Oh, uh, I'm sure there'll be no shortage of cooperation. I think we all value our jobs too much. Thank you, Mr. Beechcroft. We'll do our best. Norma, do we have last month's sales figures to hand? Well, I can see the ladies are going to run a sharp little team here. Women managers! He wants bloody flogging, that chairman, but he's grown men out of work. He sounds a lippy bastard to me. In the work to rule, like a knock the pants out of her. I'll find them. There's only one way to deal with you. Harley! Then tell us again to stop messing! He was just as much into bold as. I'm off now, love. Oh, my money, the shirt ironed. Oh, shirts can wait. I've got these ructions to discuss with shop floor. You need not wait up, love. It'll be a fair session. Hey, I've passed the level, right? Hey. Make sure none of them bosses give you a lift home, right? Oh, bullshit. Go on. Hey, Polly! Get us a beer out of will ya? Polly! Polly, get us a beer on the fridge, will you? Hey, Polly! You're quiet this morning, lady. We'll get under weather. I'm going to my bloody boot, you're coming late anymore. Hey, look who it is. Oh. Yeah, from top office. She's got a grid on her like a bag of spanners. <laughs> Excuse me, love, what have I seen your face before? Crufts, what eh? I was the advertising pedigree job, I can't remember. I tell you, if I was your bloke, I'd sling you across me near last the arse off ya! You mind, I've got to work here, you know. Hey, what the bloody hell you got there? It's Donuts from Catalogue. Hey! Hey! What? 
this meeting tonight, you're back by 12, right? On the back side of you, it look like a bloody pumpkin when I finish waving my wand over it, right? Right, yeah, love. What's brought him? He's had a martyrdom since he got up this morning. Don't say yes! At least that's one thing I don't have to put up with. Rare with a cob on every morning. It's a real treat to be able to please yourself. Hey, come on, love. She's in, you know. I thought them Koreans went in for democracy. Well, if this is it, they can bloody well keep. It's going to be more like strange ways every day. <laughs> what are you like, eh? She's not with the Koreans. Oh, no. It's Ala Smiler doing a snidey, gagging in with the bosses. Only this time. He's puked in his own number. And as for that, I'll mince the face off it if it starts on me. Get us another tea, will you? Hey, where are you going? Not back for a quick sun. I trust we can still breathe fresh air without it getting docked off our wages. Ooh, she's sending a bit near it knuckling, is she? in there? Uh, no. Just using facilities. Three minutes to clocking on. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, you better watch somebody don't clock your frigging gob off, love. I wouldn't mind if there were a lot worth thinking around here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fancy them. I like the colour. <laughs> hey, is Pauline not coming? Oh, no, she wants a bit of overtime. Oh, kids all right. Yeah, shouldn't they be? Well, they say they're the ones to suffer, don't they, in a divorce? Yeah, well, when you've not got kids, it's easy to jump to all sorts of conclusions. Hey, when are you getting divorced, then? As soon as those little bits of paper come through, that's why I'm looking so chuffed. I didn't notice she was. Butter to us? Hey, Fred, not half, man. I'm bloody dripping toast. Hey, Fred, plenty there for a toasted muffin. Hey, you. Aye, and some left over to grill with pineapple, eh, hey, love? She's the right colour for it, eh? <laughs> yes, well, I've just got that from Tenerife, actually. Oh, yeah. And here's me thinking you've been overdoing it on carrots. <laughs> so, you just missed it, then? What's that? Salesman of the year. Hey, was I sick, man? 
Sick. You were bloody puking, weren't you, Fred? I were gutted. You tell her how many packets of streak he has all last year, mate. You've welled half the pork in Britain round the northwest, haven't you, Fred? I've had more pig in the back of my bloody car. I'll tell you that bastard. You ask anybody, beginner's luck. He can't sell. Can kind of he, Eckers, like? Who would it put Eccles and Sulphur on map, eh? You did, Fred. I did. If I hadn't got all them contacts, I'll tell you, a pig could have sold it to him. You're dancing, Paulette. Yeah. Hey, careful how we go. He'll do all for publicity in. Because you're the famous model, he'll want his photo took with you. Come on. Oh, aye. She will have us to start, but it's already one done. Career comes first with me. Look serious. Oh, aye. She'll come in handy for him with Paul, eh? She's a model. I've just worked a month in Tenerife. And then something crucial, apparently. That's interesting. So, how's the new job going, eh? Look, it's Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> with them volivans, won't you? What for? You've not forgotten, have you? Why else do you think I've been strumming my fingers all so week? Tonight's our turn for the recital and spread. Oh. You don't remember? Old Percival's coming out from head office. I might just clinch that promotion at last. How do you fancy me as manager, then? That'd be nice. You'd now Al's lined up tonight, had you? Just keep that pressed on it. Oh. 
It looks nasty. I don't know why she's coming. Well, she'll have to get it seen, so. All right, all right. What's the problem? Oh, it's my wisdom to blow up again. Sorry, but I'm going to have to get it fixed. We'll go to the dental school. They'll see you without an appointment. Yeah. Yeah, I think I should. All right, then. Go on, quick as you can. Oh. Pauline, do you want someone to come with you? No, no, you're all right. Look, I'll manage. Was that really necessary? I thought so, yes. She could be there all oh. day. Yeah, well, we're used to showing the ladies a little consideration around here. Oh. Now, if Mr. Beechcroft has asked you to economise on that, I want it in writing. I'm sure that could be arranged. On the mending. Oh, they can do wonders these days, can't they? Pauline. Mrs. Grout would like a word with you. In the office. Sit down, Pauline. How's your tooth? Better? Oh, yes, thank you. Good. Must have been a tricky job. Oh, yes. It took some doing. Must have took a lot of doing to require the combined skills of a beautician, dry cleaner and dress hire manageress. Mrs. Grout seems to think that you were roaming the high street as opposed to the corridors of the dental school. Mrs. Grout doesn't think. She knows. She had a bird's eye view. Perched by the curb on Church Street. Could there be some mistake, Pauline? No, but I had to. I'd got all wine on it, you see. And they cost 200 quid new, and if you don't get them back on time, you, 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 they charge you double. So, in fact, this story of the tooth was a complete fabrication. Well, no, not entirely. I mean, I have had the odd twinge. Norma, do you have the disciplinary file? There is only one option for deliberate absenteeism compounded by calculated distortion of the facts. One week suspension without pay. You what? Well, I take it that's your usual procedure. Well, I wouldn't know. We've never been in that position before. Well, I wonder whose credit that's to. You'd better collect your stuff. You can return to work a week tomorrow. Yeah, but I can't. I mean... I mean, what's my husband going to say? I'm sorry, Pauline. We're playing by the rules these days. Yeah, well. Thanks for trying.
suspended. Yeah. One week without pay. For what? Well, coming back from the dental school, I, I called him at the cleaners. And madam there, pipes is coming out. Well, that isn't the last veil to break the last frickin' hump. I don't believe this. What did Rex say? Well, what could he say? Oh, it's Madam Rules a Roost here. And him beat with bleeding Beechcroft. I've waited for this for the last six months, and now it's coming down like a shower of friggin' concrete. Well, what are we gonna do? Don't you worry. Looks like the dice are down this time, girl. Well, I don't see why they should be. You don't have to put up with this, you know. You're shop steward. That's right. I'm shop steward here. I don't have to take this. Oh, it all piss and win like the barber's cat. It's victimisation. She could call us out for less. Oh, right, I could. Oh, no, bother. We've been too soft with them. Soft? They've got away with bloody murder. All these cutbacks, taking of liberties. They think they can take us for a coconut shy, just as long as, long as they fancy loving us bloody bricks. That's what they can bloody well think again. Right, they can bloody well think again. I've not worked my nails down to the knuckles for this firm. Just to get lobbed off sideways by some snidey white collar harassment tactic. They can bloody think again. I don't think they realise who they're meddling with. No, well, they soon will do. Come on, Holly. Right. Well, what's happening now? What's happening is, Gob of the North there has gagged us in on another hiding next to nothing. Uh, yes, I wrote a letter this morning. Oh, you did? Oh, happy to sign it. Thank you, thank you very much. Well? Unless Mrs. Smedhurst is reinstated immediately and unconditionally, you have got a strike on your hands. Thank you, Mr. Buckley. <laughs> Oh, listen, I might be a bit late tonight. I've called them out. Well, we've had that much thrown at us, and now they're calling for suspensions. Well, I've told them that we've had it up to here. Oh, well, that's very nice, isn't it? I put the union first, and all I get is suspicions. Yeah, well, if you weren't so busy, I'd get you to pop down in support. Oh, you will. Oh, well, you don't need to, Lord. I mean, I know I pushed you out. No, really, I... I didn't want to put you... out. Are you right, love? I'll see you out there, eh? Yeah. You're a very foolish little madam. You are. You do realise this strike is doomed from the word go. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I'll have that lot back to work if I have to drag them there myself. Well, I shouldn't bank on it. My husband's on his way from Agecroft with a load, and he's used to shifting big lumps of coal. Well, we'll see who shifts first, then, won't we? Hook you like packers? Yes. Will you hold? I have Mrs. Grant for you. Hello. Sales department? Have you got Fred Barnett there? Bella Grout. Just a quick word. Hello, Fred. How are you, love? Look, I've been thinking I might be able to put a bit of business your way. Why don't you and Manfred pop round about five o'clock? That's right, love. Use the main gate. I'll see you, pet. We shall not be moved. Oh, yeah. We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. Where do you be? 
I've been down there a lot and watering me tomato plants. So what's it all in aid of, anyway? It's in aid of bloody... This is going too far. Yeah. Treating us for scum. Yeah. 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 Bringing people over our heads, run this shop like a Russian labour camp. Yeah. 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 And hand out suspensions whenever they feel like. Yeah. 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 I'm on your side, comrade. in the lunch break. Of course, they think they own our leisure as well as an eight-hour graph. Yeah. Well, yeah. Bloody well think again! Yeah. 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 She could lick a threatening mevy! <laughs> I've got a few reinforcements of my own. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Bernice, nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, uh, reception committee. She shouldn't have bothered, should she, man? Don't mind this shower. Come on through. Go on, Frankie, hey, shut hey, it up! Hey, 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 you might know one or two of these folk, actually. Been out of the way for Blackpool Tower, eh, Fred? Take a wrong road or what, Paulette? <gasps> Get back, leave her. Oh, hey, she's a funny colour. You're all right, love. You're going to make it. Dad, get round here, not me mother. What's come over her? I'll tell you what's come over her. Them pits of management skin the workers. That's their motto. She's out every night, all hours, working with union, fighting for better deal. Ah, she's a bloody martyr, this woman. She deserves a bloody medal. Right, lads, snuff her in the car. Right, you're going to have a week's rest. Oh, we'll see who fancy is fighting with me about it, right? Yeah, All right, now keep up the good work. She'll be back. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, Pauline. Love, we're solid here. Bloody yeah. solid! Yeah. Hey. Tea and cakes in my office. No, no, no! All right, you two. Knob off. Now, just hang on a minute. Oh, we know you're soft, pal. Bloody strike breakers. Management tossing toadies. <laughs> now, if I were you, I'd leg it sharpish before I fly in me top picket and see yours off. Oh, aye. And who's he when he's at home, then? Here. Well, uh, we'll come back later when it's quietened down, eh? Why don't we do that, eh, Fred? Says falling good suits. Hey, get out of here! Another time, eh, love? Hey, <laughs> You've done yourself any favours there. Oh, is that right, love? You've a lot more to lose than Madame there's to gain. Hey, motor mouth, why don't you keep the two parts shut? You do in my head, in. And if I was you, I'd fly that ass out fast before I wipe the smile off it with me fuck. Yay! Well, we know we have the last laugh, don't we? I wasn't banking on there being a strike when I made my arrangement. I have a supper to lay on. Oh, what? Yeah, what Gordon does his organ tonight, and I have a spread to see to. I should have known. You turn into a snotty-nosed little scab. No, Queenie. I think that technically you will find that I am not a scab. I am not attempting to work. I am merely signing off of picket duty this evening. Needless to say, you're all welcome to join us later, if you like. Yeah. 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 You're going. I thought she said we could all go. Oh, no, no, come on. You're meant to be showing solidarity. Yeah. 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 My mum's going to pag her us. Oh. 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 For as long as he takes. What takes? Management to come to the centre.
could murder yeah. pork kebab. I wish we'd gone to Donna's. <laughs> well, I don't see why we've stood here if she's knobbed off on a week's holiday. Oh, management out! Management out! Management out! Management out! Management out! Management out! Listen, management listen, out. ladies, do yourself a favour and go on. And it's a very nice gesture, but you won't get a bat for the week's out. Yeah, but it's not just about her, though, is it? No, I know what it's about. You're not the only one that's been shat upon. Only I don't make the mistake of thinking you're indispensable. It appears none of us are that round here anymore. Right. Not so small, I got up asleep this time. See these, Queenie? Job applications. Dozens of them. What jobs? Yours, if you're not back by Monday morning. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Pauline's on a week's holiday. And if you've got any sense, you go home, get yourself some tea, and be clocking on at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Oh, go home, I suppose. Unless someone's got a better idea. I'm not hogging things too much, am I? No, 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 please. It's uh, really, um, <laughs> really marvellous. Hey, Donna. Oh, marvellous, really. You'll be one of these women's libbers, I suppose. I'm sorry? All career and no children. Oh, no, uh, I'm hoping. I mean, we're hoping. Well, it's no good hoping at your age. Get on with it before it's too late. Excuse me. She didn't mean it like that. Come back in, eh? Why will it cost you promotion if I don't? What do you think? It's got a clear amount now. Let's be shot of a lot of them. I'm sure we can find better things to do with our evening. Oh, no, hang on. We needn't go that far. As long as they're all out by 11. 11? <laughs> I'll have them sent packing by 10.30. All right, miss? <laughs> Will that be? We're all here. Any tea going? <laughs> what happened? Strikes off. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, oh I love you soon. Got that one sauce at any scram. All right, love. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> all right, mate. <Mace. laughs> uh, just a few latecomers. Here, here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You're all right. Let me like some bit of tweet. <laughs> hey, don't waste it. Hey, is that for real or does it come free in a pack of cornflakes? <laughs> Out, love. Now you come inside, love, and rest up. You've had a narrow escape. Your nerves must be bloody shredded. Mm. trying for some time, I take it. I'm sorry? We don't think of it as trying. We look on it as enjoying the practice. You should get yourself seen to. I mean, what's the problem? Infertile? Frigid? I really don't think it's any of your business, actually. Uh, no, hey. thanks, love, no. Hey, Liver Archie, do you know any Bay City Rollers? 
I do beg your pardon, madam. Do I uh, gather that something a little livelier is called for? Yeah, a lot livelier. Well, how about this? Oh, we ain't got a barrel of mud. You know, it's... Shibu! Maybe we're ragged and funny. Come on. Because we're travelling along, singing a song side by side. We don't know what's coming tomorrow. So how are you going to Maybe manage with the baby? I'm on the line just sorrow. No reason why you should have to road, sharing our load. Yeah? If you want out, house, you just call our dad, and I'll see you later. And I'm telling anybody who calls, they're having no more excitement of any sort till I think you're fit for it. Peace and quiet's what you need. Now, you rest up for a couple of weeks. When I think you're up to it, we might chance a few dominoes without working, man. See ya. for Line Electronics in the final part of the current series of Making Out.
Leave me, come, come. Tell him you're dead. Hey, let's leave you dead out of this, shall we? Hey, you. Look, Pet, I know it's hard for you. You don't know. It's hard for all of us. You're a big girl now. These things happen. Why, dear? Because people start to want different things. I don't. I want the same. What do you want? Your own way. Suit yourself. Not us. Not me, Dad. Hey, come here. No. Come here. What? It hurts me, too. Good. Is it today? No. Friday's your birthday. Is my dad coming? I don't think so, son. He doesn't like us anymore, does he? Of course he likes you. Why does he never phone us, then? Because he's busy. Where are you going? I don't like being awake. Hey, come here, come here. There's your party. All your friends coming. All them presents. If I get that denim jacket, I might be all right. <laughs> oh, might you? Perhaps he'll phone on my birthday. Perhaps he will, eh? If he don't, no, then, won't we? What? That he never wants us back. That's it then, is it? You what? Your alibi. Well, I've got to give you some reason for pissing off on a Sunday afternoon. I'd rather we weren't discovered wrapped round a lamppost together. Is there some problem? Oh, no, no problem. Just that place is doing me, Eddie. Her at home, her at work, you. I don't get it. He does sod all for you, hardly notices you're there half the time. I've asked you to leave him. And live where? With me. And Stella, and the little ones. Oh, yes, that was enough. You think it's all bloody mouth, don't you? I've told you. I've asked her to leave me. I want a divorce. I want a new job. I want it with you. Anyway, what's so bloody attractive round here that keeps you waiting on? Nothing. Right, then. I'll give her the elbow. You sling him. We've got a deal. I'm making no promises. What's up? You don't think I'll do it? You don't think I'll do it, do you? You don't trust me or what? What do you think? Right. <laughs> No, I don't. She's out. You don't seriously think I'd bring you here if she was in? Oh. Look, you're coming in. Come on. Why are we here? Because I've got something to show you.
I'm just joking. What's this? It's my letter of resignation. I've got a mate in Milton Keynes. I could walk into a job any time I like. We both could. Oh, <laughs> could we? You can do what you like. I can earn enough money for both of us. You could sit around all day, couldn't you, and just have your head on. Oh, Look. What's worth keeping you here? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Mm. Listen. She's not here, and she's not coming back until later. All right? Now. No. Look, now what? I, I'd rather book in somewhere. Yeah. Well, we're here now, aren't we? Right now. tell her tonight. I promise. I'll pack a suitcase and be on your doorstep tomorrow evening. All right, fine. I'll see you tomorrow night. a day, ten minutes a time. Free to do what you love. She's in season. Right, uh, say no more. Now, I'm having her served on Friday. So you can carry her while she's out. Keep her out of the road with the dogs. And in case you're in any doubt, two thousand pounds, that's worth. And her puppies go for five hundred pound apiece. Say no more. Uh, you're looking at Fort Knox. Oh, we just popped over to see what's what. Then I should pop back to your ventures pronto. Oh, what's what will be a sharp drop in your wages. Right, Norma. To save you this fraternizing with shop floor, 
of an errand for you. You can nip out to the shops and get a can of food for Beulah. She has the gourmet variety. And there's a list of things on my desk you can pick up while you're there. Take the money out of petty cash. Supposed to go. Always try to get a skip, couldn't we? I don't think I can get that stuff. Petty cash is down twenty-six pounds forty-seven p. How much? Well, since you're that short of something to do, you'd better sort out Beulah's litter tray instead. I think you'll find that's not actually in my contract. I've told her. What did you say? I told her I had something to tell her, and I'd tell her tonight when I got here. Mm. So, where are we going to celebrate? Aren't you being a bit premature? Look, I've told you, when I leave that house, it's going to be with my suitcase packed. Now, I can book into a little hotel somewhere till we get something sorted. So when are you going to tell him? Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? Look. Why don't you tell him tonight? Get it over and done with. Hmm? I'll see. Hmm. Mr. Beechcroft is here to see you. If it's not too great an inconvenience. Junk on us. I'll give you five to do the ant, six to one the carat, seven to three the nips, hundred to one outside the barret. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Oh, we're going over to soldier and gun dong. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Now, as you're probably aware, our Korean partners, Yong Chong Electronics, have pulled out of a deal they made with us six months ago. <laughs> now, as of 5.30 p.m. this Friday, our chairman, Mr. Beechcroft, has notified us that this company shall cease trading. Now, the usual redundancy and severance benefits will operate. I'm very sorry, girls. That's all. Mm -hmm. I can do it, then, can I? I tell you, you've not worked before. It used to be the number one pastime round here, giving out three days' notice. How much pay off do you want more get? What do you think? Catch our last mile or delving too deep into his purse. Friggin' shrapnel. And all for a good night's bevy and a piss in the wind to jangle in your pockets for a couple of weeks. I had myself down for a life sentence here. Didn't we all, love? Uh... Get in here this minute. We don't close for three days, in case you're in any doubt. Some of you. No doubt at all. Love. I'm going to throw a fit then, ask me where the money's coming from now. Oh, do you see or think of something? No. I dare say. Well, that's very reassuring, Stella. That's really made my day, that has. I must say your timing's good. You're getting ready to resign again. You are? Well, I've had the letter in the sofa. Your style's improving. Maybe I should go back to work. You? 
Oh, I wasn't seeing your manager before I met you. You could stay at home and look after the children. You know, take it easy. Yeah, you're a really funny comic, Stella. I've been on to my dad. Oh, I. And what's the expert's view of it, then? How's it my fault this time? Where have I managed to put my foot in it again? He's prepared to bat you. I know what his backing's about. It all comes with two tons of bolts and shackles strung between the lines. No, I'm not going capping hand to him. So I end up paying me four trips a year, plus bloody Christmas, to miserable bloody Glasgow, and him looking over my shoulder at the book so I can't even have a piss without getting his signature first. Anyway, I might have other plans. Oh? I might not stop it at all. Listen, I have got to go where the jobs are. No. You could stop there until I've sorted something out. Could I? Listen, I don't need this hassle. Jesus Christ, what's a bloke supposed to do for a quiet life? Pure heart. That's what they used to say at Sunday school. Maybe it was a clear conscience. You what? Oh, I've had enough of this for one day. Oh, listen. What's that supposed to mean, clear conscience? My conscience is clear. Well, that's all right, then, isn't it? There we are, then. What's that? Seven foot brooches. So we know what we're looking for. Now there's no to keep us here. No, I can't concentrate now. Bit of a turn up for the boot, though, won't you, eh? Both copying for redundancy like that. One second. Are you not going to answer it? Not with me. I didn't recognise your voice. It's George Phipps about his caravan. It's a blow. It's cut me to the quick. You see, lad, I've invested in this company. Emotional investment. With a very dearest kind. Well, I know. Fits you right here. I've not told Nancy yet. She's very set on the canaries this year. I honestly can't see her stretching to it. And that's without worrying who's going to give the likes of you as truly his future daily slice. And for the life of me, I can't see how we could have made it run more efficient. I had a mummy like little tops. My mum's gone up the wall. Shut us down for a future here. I says, Mum, there ain't no future here. I just like the company. I know where I am. And where you are at this moment is guiding on company time, for which the usual procedure, correct me if I'm wrong, is minus one hour's wages. Yeah, there ain't nothing to do anyway. In that case, why don't I find you something to do? I don't really care what it is, as long as you're not stuck on your great behinds for the rest of the week. It's all wrong, you see. Manners cost nothing. Aye. I've not put ten years into this place to get spoken to like that. I 
Maya. Maya. I was just wondering, right? Um, you know when we're short? Well, I might want to um, send you a Christmas card or something. Well, uh, 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 nice one, nice one. Hi. Right. So, uh, you could write down your address in my address book if you wanted. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm sure, right. Uh, let's go for it, eh? <laughs> oh. It's me mum, you see. Well, she gets a bit funny about letters coming, you know. Mm. Um. Well, why don't you give me your address, eh? And then I can write you and send you a postcard from Blackpool. No, because it's my dad. He reads all my letters. Oh, all right, well. Um, I don't know, then. Well, maybe we could, you know, What? Maybe we could meet. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> if we met, right, then we wouldn't need to worry about stamps and envelopes and addresses and all no, that, you right, know? No, right, because if we met, right. we wouldn't need to write, because we could just say uh -huh. what we would have wrote. Wrote, right, right, <laughs> right. Right then. Right then. So. I'll, I'll see you then. I'll see you then. Right. Ciao. All right. See you. Hey, Mrs. Grant. Oh, my armpits are thick and baked. I fancy being a car horse. I'd ask him upstairs to double me out. <laughs> if you move that great behind of yours a bit, instead of giving your mouth a workout, we might have a sense of order to show to these receivers when they come in on Monday. But then I've never known you give a toss for this firm's reputation. So I can hardly see a sense of pride developing now. What a cow! Great doll, you just set yourself up for a swift lash of gorilla warfare. I can't wait. Right, fair bag. This is it. You can get them lallies out of there before I skin you for a boxy cover. Somewhere she's gonna freak the ass off when she finds out. Oh no, Joe. The last time I saw it, it was in the car park. Car park? I'm packing if she catches it cruising around there by itself. You got half the neighborhood dogs queued up outside there. Tell you what, eh, Sash? We'll go and search it out together, eh? Make sure it comes to no harm. You little madam. Oh, you saved me life. Right. Here you go. Look what it's got for you. seen something. Prize-winning pedigrees don't just melt off the face of the earth. No, I dare say not. I'll just have to call the police, that's all. Dogs like that, they're worth the weight in gold. <sighs> well, what have you been doing with her? Oh. I took her out for a breath of fresh air. She looks like the wreck of the Bismarck.
Do you know, I've always hated filing until now. Be thought what you might do next. Oh, I should soon get fixed up. I wasn't planning on stopping here much longer anyway. There's no real promotion structure, is there? I really feel like I've been wasted these past few months. Is that a go at me? Well, if you're interested. I really don't think you know how to delegate, actually. But aside from that, there's only one seat I've ever really fancied. And that chair wasn't coming vacant if I hung on 50 years. Don't kid yourself. Oh, no. I've always had you down for a stop here till you drop merchant. Come in. Ah, right then. No Can more. it wait? Have to uh, nip out for some milk. I've been dying to talk to you all day. In future, if in future holds any interest for you, yes. you will do me the courtesy of getting in touch if you can't keep to arrangements. <clears throat> Look, how could I? It was bedlam in my house last night. She threw a wobbler when I told her we'd just been made redundant. Oh, and put the phone out of order, I suppose. Look, it's not a problem. I'm going to tell her tonight. Can I meet you half past six? I'll do it tonight. If for some reason it should slip your mind. Right then, uh, <clears throat> I don't think there'll be any problem with the holiday pay, Carol May. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> dear, dear. We really are scraping the barrel a bit, aren't we? Perhaps she'll have the decency to phone next time. Wages will be down this week. What? There's a few out there I think this shutdown's a good excuse to sky for the rest of the week. Their pay packets will tell them different. Don't you ever give it a rest. I do my job. I generally find it quite rewarding, given proper cooperation. Yes, I saw me bloody mouth. I see. Well, come on, let's make the best of it, shall we? Where do you fancy going? The Wendy House? Oi. Come here. What do you think you were doing? I was ringing me, Dad. You know, we've no money to waste running up phone bills. I went to tell him you've lost your job. Oh, I bet that perked him up no end. No, he wasn't there. No, he probably off pulling his wages down the back of his throat. No, but he don't live there anymore. The man said he's moved. Moved? Yeah, he lives here now. But when I phoned there, there was only a woman there. What woman? She said it's her house. My dad does live there, though. She said she'd take a message. Ooh, that's very big of her. Why you, is it? You better ask your dad when you ring him. I asked if he was coming on my birthday. What did she say? She said she didn't think so. No. Well, I shouldn't think he probably would now. Why you, is she, man? How should I know? She said she felt she knew you. Oh, well, one nil to her, then. She didn't sound very old. I expect she's barely 17. Do you mind being old, man? I didn't used to. I like you when you're old. <laughs> Thank you. Now can I have that damn jacket? We'll see. Lauren, don't play with that. Lauren, I said don't play with it. Lauren, put it down and come here now. She's not doing any harm. She'll learn to do as I told. Sit down there. Right. Oh. 
You stupid little... Get over there now. I don't bloody believe this. I don't bloody believe it. They're pests. The bloody pair of them pests. A fortnight I've had this suit. Oh, God almighty. He wants bloody changing. <laughs> Change a nappy, don't worry, son. Oh. Don't worry, here, 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 come here. Come here. There, look. look, look. That's you, that is, look. Oh. Which bloody way round do they go? I think it's the other way round. Is this a treat I'm down for one weekend in court? Why do you mean? Well, presumably you'll want access to these. Oh, well, I'm dead right. You don't seriously think all my children forget to know their daddies, do you? Come here, Lauren, love. Come here. Yeah, don't buy yourself a nice packet of houses. Right, Stella can keep the house. Mind you, she might fancy pissing off back to Glasgow. Give them two miserable bastards the pleasure of saying, I told you so, I told you so. And how will she be off the money? Oh, she's loaded. Well, her old man's stashed. And tight-fisted to match. I used to work for him. I didn't know that. Oh. He owns a lot of firms up in Glasgow. I've been two years for him. Oh, listen a bit and make their day me dumping her. <laughs> they can say, I told you so. Eight years back, I told you so. Rex! How you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, oh, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> He gets bigger every day. Who does he look like, eh? Still not with you, then? Uh, no. No, she's, uh, off enrolling on some course over. Oh, she finally decided to. She's a good girl. She's been around the country within five years. When are you going to join us for that bite of supper? Uh, you left the shape to beat that thing still knocked up for us last time. I wonder he's not fat as a pig with the stuff she dreams up. <laughs> you thought about going away again this year? You can always join us at the villa, you know? No, no, Stella and I haven't, uh, talked at all. Actually, Stella and I aren't exactly getting... Do you know, <laughs> I never think two weeks solid is enough, do you? You know, sooner there, then you've got to come back again. Actually, Stella and I won't be going away together at all. This is Carol May. We've known each other for quite some time. And we've talked it over. And I don't see why you two shouldn't be the first to know that... Excuse we... me. Very nice to have met you. It's my boss. There's no great mystery, you know. And I had to put my own kids to bed without the aid of an instruction pamphlet. He's spoken to my dad yet? Well, I've not got nothing to say to him. You've already told him what I've said he could do with his offer. No. You what? I didn't tell him. I thought you could tell him when you finally make your mind up. I just don't believe you sometimes. What you believe and don't believe isn't the issue here. Either you take his offer or you don't. And if I were you, I'd hurry up and make my mind up. Instead of behaving like a spoilt ten-year-old who couldn't have his second slice of cheesecake. He's here. You want a word with him? It's for you. Who is it? It's my dad.
Yeah, I Yeah, fine. Well, I suppose you've uh, heard about a little misadventure, have you? Ma'am, you know this bird in me there? What sort of an expression is that? Well, she is, isn't she? This bird. I've no idea, and I've no particular wish to know what I was. Perhaps my dad will want us to come and live with them when you divorce. You'll do no such thing. I'd like to live down south. Fox is near London. Rick Hatfield lives in London. No, Mark, he'll be when he's at home. Ma'am, Wembley's in London. He's Wembley near Foxton, ma'am. I doubt it. Hey, we might be able to come and see you sometimes, you know? Neither of you's going anywhere. You wouldn't really want to go to Folkestone, would you? I would. I would. Fine. Right, Tommy Bird. Let's get our kisses round this and be lost. You know, Ponch and hanging about. I'm obviously not needed. It's never stopped you before. I can't help feeling you've brought it on yourselves. No doubt. I trust you find something to suit your capabilities, Norma. I don't doubt it, thank you, Mrs. Grant. And the same to you, too. I'm sorry. You know, a small token of our esteem. It's really not necessary. Nah, but it's done, though. You won't suss it out straight away. It'll sort of, like, creep up on you and land on your mat in a bottom great wallop in about three months' time. Ah. Oh, you've turned out to be the veziest little time bomb in years. See ya. with my car. The company's car, I think. Right, Rob. Why don't I relieve you of those? You'll enjoy the walk on a day like this. Ha, <laughs> 
champagne for you, doll. Get that friggin' Guinness out. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, at least you won't be sitting at home twiddling your toes like the rest of us. Well, I always plan to come back to work. I thought we could organise a crash. Oh, well, the friggin' smiler would take his first party. It's on it. <laughs> well, things yes. turn out a sight different than you'd expect. Oh, come on, Gail. If we're leaving here without a job, let's at least get sluice enough to sink a warship. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. We are the Dunkeys. <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? Ladies, gentlemen, thank you. Now, you're all no doubt wondering why Norma sent you over here. Yeah. All right, all right, I'll come, I'll come straight to the point. I'm going into business. The same business is downstairs. It's what I know best. Now, I've handpicked 30 workers to join me in setting up this new venture. Oh, this is really nice. We'll need a new company secretary and a deputy manager, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Norma. <laughs> All right, now, the other 29 places are up for grabs if you want them. Yeah! Now, it's not going to be big money to start off with. We'll run it... We'll run it more like a family business. Long hours, a lot of graft, but... When the rewards come in, we'll all get a fair share. Now, I know it's not very much to look at now, but I think with the right effort and the right attitude, we can all get out there together and make something really special. You're on. All right. So, if you're all game for that one, yeah. perhaps, Norma, you'd like to sort us out something special to celebrate with, Norma. All right. <laughs> I say I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> very decent of you. No, not everyone's idea of the, uh, the one minute 
manager, but uh, it's good of you to have me along for the ride. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my wife, Stella, my partner and co-director of our new venture. Oh, nice to meet you. It was dead cheap, only cost eight quid. His was the cheapest of a lot, because Billy Smith, his was 17 quid. Darren Thorold, his was 12 quid. I don't quid. want to know how much they've spent. There's things are damn sound more important than what stuff's cost. Oh, man, but he's a cheapskate. His trainers are even plastic. I suppose I should be grateful you wear that jacket. Oh, man, it's well soft. It's just what I wanted. See, it's not true then, is it? I won't never get. Sometimes. This jacket's disgusting. It rocks your teeth. Oh, oh, Mum, tell him I'm a doodle. Tell him anything. I don't see why I should tell that for you. Ray? Ray! Yeah. 